I bet you do not have to beatbox. It's Tuesday and you're watching Tasty Tuesday, the show where it's Tuesday and I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. For those of you who have never watched Tasty Tuesday, first of all, welcome. I kind of started doing them on this channel and not explaining because I felt like there was a history on my vlog channel, but I haven't built that history here. So let me explain really quickly. I I have never really had any training cooking before, not a cook, but I wanted to try to start, you know, learning. So I started trying different recipes at the end of last summer and putting them on camera for you. Originally when I came up with the title Tasty Tuesday, I did not think very many things were going to be tasty, so I kind of made that title ironically. But it turned out that a lot of things are pretty tasty. Hashtag humble brag. So that's this. For those of you who have been here for a while, we're trying something different today because life is unpredictable. Life, shh, the apocalypse is outside. I feel like most of cooking is figuring stuff out and that stuff hasn't been included in the, any of the videos. A lot of things happen that you don't, you haven't been able to see and then I end up explaining it at the end of the video when we're about to, you know, eat the thing. We'll see how we like it. If we hate it, then we can stop. Whatever, no big deal. Um, but I think it might be a little bit more fun. Today we are cooking a chicken parmesan. I got a couple different requests for that. Let's see what happens. Whoa, see, look. Hopefully this will heighten your experience here on Tasty Tuesday. First thing we're gonna do is heat oil in a large skillet pan. <laughs> why, why? It's not purposeful, I'm not trying to be quirky. We're supposed to chop the onion first, okay? So this is what I'm talking about. Most of what I'm doing is just figuring it out. I heard that if you have a cup of water sitting out, that you don't cry as much when you're cutting the onions. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're gonna try it. This recipe calls for a small onion, and I've been told on Tasty Tuesday that our American onions are huge. So this was the smallest onion I could find, but it might still be too big. Um, I might need to cut it in half. It only needs a half a cup of chopped onions. Where you live, they have smaller onions. Do a smaller onion. We like GMO here. Is there a trick to garlic getting all this stuff off of it? Ah! I'm not quirky. Dude, look at how big this one garlic clove is. GMO City. Oh, it's actually two. They were like sleeping with each other. You're cute. Adorable. This one's still huge, actually. Never mind, I take it back again. GMO City. This is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> no, this is very small for that. Okay, now we're gonna heat our oil and then put our half a cup of chopped onions in there to brown. Ready? Medium heat, do it. If you're hearing that microwave, it's because I use frozen chicken and then defrost it in the microwave before I cook it. Now the onion is brown and we are going to add two to three cloves of garlic. I love garlic, so I'm adding three of these chunky boys. I'm sorry, I call them chunky. You are not fat, you are beautiful. Stop it. Three of these, minced, do it. You gotta brown that garlic until it gets very fragrant, it says. Which it already, like pretty much right off the bat was very fragrant even though it said to cook it two minutes. It has not been two minutes, but it's very fragrant, so I'm gonna do the next step. Hold on. Also, I think that cup of water trick worked, because I'm not crying at all, and usually I cry like crazy with onions. That's a tip for you. 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. They said preferably organic, which I feel was a little bit snobby, but I did it anyway. It's got this nice, non-glossy, organic label. Uh, don't wear white when you cook, especially if you're quirky. Go away. One tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. A fourth a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Salt to taste. I like salt, so I'm gonna taste it a lot. We're gonna bring that to a boil. Then, we're gonna reduce the heat and simmer for about 10 minutes and allow the flavors to blend. I'm not reading directly from the recipe. 10 minutes. I'm just gonna stand here and wait with you. Oh! Grease a 9 by 13 baking dish. I did it with cooking spray. Lightly salt your chicken cutlets. Do it. I didn't feel the onions while I was, hey, I'm trying to talk. I didn't feel the onions while I was cutting them, but now that they've been cooking in that sauce, I'm starting to feel them, and that water did not do shit. You got one job. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Why does it look like I'm like crutched over? <laughs> I can walk, I'm bipedal. It's just so out of focus over here. Two large eggs. Lightly beat the egg whites in a medium bowl. You got this, Nikki. You got this. Oh my god, this onion. Do you even water? Oh, okay. Sauce is now finished. 
turn off the heat. Don't burn me. Mm -mm -mm. Don't get cocky. I didn't even know it was gonna get this intense. I didn't really read the recipe before I started. But we have to take two sheets of wax paper. On one of the sheets, we're gonna sprinkle breadcrumbs. On the other sheet, we're gonna sprinkle flour. We're gonna dip the chicken into the flour, and then into the egg whites, and then into the breadcrumbs, and then into the baking dish. We're not stressing, we're not stressing today. You know what I did at the grocery store, actually? Because I do actually get really stressed out and I have high anxiety levels. This lavender essential oil, and when you're stressed out, you just, you just kind of smell it. Get off. And then it de-stresses you. It's probably totally placebo, but I'm feeling like it's working and I'm just gonna keep it by me right now. You stay there, you're my best friend. But if you work like that cup of water work, we're gonna have problems. Now we're gonna add a fourth cup of fresh basil leaves to our sauce that we made. Ooh! Oh crap! Remember how I told you like I always forget something? I was supposed to mix the breadcrumbs with the parmesan, and I totally didn't do that. Ah, you were supposed to have parmesan in you. Do you know that? Fuck me, right? Okay, this isn't even the right kind of Parmesan. I needed the kind that was grated so that it could mix into the breadcrumbs. I just don't think it's gonna work with this kind, so I'm not gonna do Parmesan. Sorry, it'll probably taste a million times better with the Parmesan. If you wanna add Parmesan, get grated Parmesan. Mix it with the breadcrumbs. Make it better than I just did. Today, we lost a little bit. We lost a battle, but we might not win the... We lost the battle, but we might not lose the war. Let's just finish the recipe. Ugh! So the chickens were actually not supposed to go into the baking dish yet, but it's okay because it was a good place to hold them in the meantime. We're gonna heat up four to five tablespoons of olive oil in a large skillet. Then we're gonna brown each chicken about four to five minutes, then put it into the baking dish. So I'm just gonna leave them in here, brown them two at a time, and then put them back in here. I make my own rules. I don't know what it is about the cackling. It scares me though. I feel like it's gonna attack me. People get burned by hot oil like all the time. No joke. Hot oil is a predator that you need to be aware of. So here's how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go sauce. We're gonna layer sauce over the chicken. And then we're gonna put a half a cup low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese. Whoa, let me say that again. Shredded low moisture part skin mozzarella natural cheese half a cup of that. However, since I'm super bummed that I forgot to put the Parmesan in, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmesan over to like two of them before I put the sauce over and then sprinkle this on top of that. And just to see, just to see what it tastes like with Parmesan in there because I'm really, I feel like I have this fear of missing out and I feel like I'm really missing out on that Parmesan. So I'm gonna try that Parmesan. I don't know if I'm supposed to use the whole sauce or not. I'm putting a little bit more, I like cheese. Looks like this. Oh, don't slide, stop it. Now we're gonna put it in the oven that we heated like a long time ago, 12 to 15 minutes, or until the cheese is like slightly browning from being all melty and delicious. And you go, bye. I'm gonna leave it in for like a minute longer. I need the sauce to be more bubbly, like the note that I get in every audition. Hey, be bubbly, be more bubbly. I am smiling. Oh, where do I put it, where do I put it, where do I put it? A lot of people make this dish with pasta underneath it or some sort of other thing underneath it. We just didn't make a carb. So guess what? We're gonna have it, maybe, oh, maybe I could put it over some spinach. Kinda looks like more presentational, I feel like. I'm gonna do it. Look at that, you're so pretty. I hope you taste at least 80% of how good you look. One of you has Parmesan on it and one does. Steve's lagging, but I just had a bite and it is so good. It is really, really good. Slap a hat. This is chicken parmesan. Okay. Okay, I didn't have pasta, so I put it over spinach. By the way, I recognize that the dish is called chicken parmesan and that's the ingredient that I forgot. But you know what? You could well, add parmesan at the end. I know, I didn't even realize it when I first forgot it, but um, add the parmesan in the end or just don't forget. Nice. It's really good, huh? It's so good. It's really damn good. Yeah. What's that sauce? I made it. Even if you forget the Parmesan and chicken Parmesan, it still tastes really good. That's a secret. One of the secret. best I've had of chicken Parmesan, and I order this quite a bit. Yeah? So mm. this is one of the best chicken Parmesans you've had, yeah. and I forgot to put Parmesan in it. <laughs> it's the sauce, man. Yeah, it's the sauce. The sauce is really good. Tasty Tuesday! <laughs> oh, this is a hypothetical this situation. A hypothetical oh, okay, idea. okay, okay. I do it pulls up, okay? One of Bill Gates' those 
rolls out $5 million in Sahemi. Come set. <laughs>